know, I didn't. That's what the last one was doing. Really? Keep reeling, yep. Keep him coming. Instead of shark, then we'll get him. Yeah. There you go. Alright, keep him coming, keep him coming. Actually, this song's better. Let's see. What you got, girl? A big scamp grouper. Oh my gosh, he's heavy. He's so pretty. Look at his eyes are bulged out from him. Yeah, look at those fat. Just hold him. Turn him to the sun this way, son. His tail. No, the other way. Yeah, I want to show him that Beautiful white trim. pattern. Look at his cool tail. And so delicious too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys, we've been out here all day. Lewis has been trying, catching shark after shark, amberjack after amberjack. And finally, we just pulled up two nice, nice scamp groupers. I can't believe it. Two, what time is it? Two new PBs for sure. Heck yeah. My biggest one, Look Jackie's biggest one. Look at that tail. Yeah, turn them this way. Oh my gosh. To the sun. There you go. Wow. Whose is bigger, mine or yours? I don't know. They're about the same size, I feel like. What All do you right. think? Yeah, here. Yeah. Let's hold them up side by side. Let's see, because I don't like to lose. Oh, well, we got a more of a Rupert limit here. Lay them, lay them up on the front. And let's see what we got. Uh, what do you think? I don't know. Mine oh, looks bigger. Get <laughs> your shadow off of for the Sorry. video. Lower oh it. my god. Uh, what? You won. You won. No, babe. If All we right, wouldn't let's have found this fish without you. Alright, tell them what we gotta do. We gotta hurry up. We're gonna take a, a picture. We're we'll put them in the ice and then keep fishing because we gotta get our limits. Four per person. So we gotta catch six more. No way, that's a big one. Okay. Keep spinning. Ow. All right. Hold him up one time. Okay, Just show ready? him what's up. Hold him sideways to the camera. Out here, get him, boy. So we took a grouper out and Lewis is going to clean it in the kitchen with my new Dexter net. Serrated side. Yeah, just to get the little, get through the scale. I'm glad you said something about that. Oh, he's getting a little bloody. Alright. Sliding too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Do you wanna? No, I got it. It's late. We just got back because we got um, we were at the marina talking to friends and stuff. We ate some pizza, but we're about to cook the grouper and eat it because we still want some more food. Look at Lewis's uh, super cool headlamp. Look at the camera once. <laughs> he, he looks like he's going to a rave party. It's actually a really nice headlamp. But um, so Lewis is gonna clean the grouper and then 
I'm getting ready to leave actually. I have to catch a flight tomorrow morning home. We have to leave here at like three in the morning and it's already like 10 o'clock and we're about to eat grouper. Oh well, I'm packing up and if you can't hear the laundry is going, so I gotta do all that kind of stuff. But Lewis is cleaning the grouper. Ooh. Look at the like orange look on the, on the meat. Oh, like the translucent. Oh man, it's crazy. Yeah, like it's neon like, look. Most That's fish cool. have like a rainbow color. This is like just an orange. Orange, like a you can see it in the cameras a little bit right there. Wow. Yeah, but oh, it, yeah. does it help when I do this? A little bit right there, you can see it. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Wow. Ooh. And that's the cheek meat. Oh yeah, so we got his cheeks out. Look at his cheeks. See? You can eat their cheeks. Okay, Lewis insisted on a side. I thought the side was the pizza that we ate earlier, but I was perfectly fine with the box fits in the trash can. Lewis is making some asparagus, like how we usually do, just seared it with some butter. We use this top to steam it, kinda. We don't have our good Kerrygold, but, oh, this is Kerrygold. Look at that. Okay, and then here's our grouper. What you got on here, salt just and pepper. Just black pepper. Just black pepper? Yeah, no salt. Oh, cool. Jackie like, don't I, like salt. I like it like that, no, I don't. Well, no, I like a little salt, but not too much. Well, okay, you can sprinkle some. And you're doing broccoli. I just did some dishes. Clean the sink. Lewis is buttering up a pan. Usually with fish and seafood, like if it's fresh, you really don't need to do a whole lot to it to make it good, you know? Like, it's just amazing as it is. All right, it's just Starting it's to starting bubble. to that's, bubble, yeah, that's yeah. That's what you want to look that's for. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ooh, that looks perfect. It's got a little bit of foam. Oh, yeah. Oh, Not wow. too much. You don't want to burn much. it. Yeah, yeah, don't burn the butter. All right, then gently set, set it in the pan. Maybe turn it up a little. Because <laughs> it's going to get a little cold. All right. All the fish going on. Yeah. How long are you gonna leave it on each side? Like four minutes, five um, minutes, eight minutes? Let's see. I can't figure out what piece to put next. What about the cheek piece? Ooh, yeah, put that cheek piece on. One cheek piece, two. They sound piece. really good. Sizzly now. Yep. Get another plate out. Lewis got a boo-boo on his nose. Put a real big fish in the box. And bam. Nice steamed broccoli. Smells like fish. Yeah. I kind of had my smell messed up since I got coronavirus. <laughs> Don't say it. Whatever. But anyway, I got it last September. It's been almost almost a year and my smell is still weird like actually in the last couple of days though i've been smelling a lot more things i do kind of smell that fish right now before it was like one weird smell that i would smell for everything or like maybe two different smells and like one day it would come and one day it would be gone again like my smell would come back for like a day and then it would be gone again it was weird very weird you just flipped it. That looks beautiful. I love those fat, flaky, grouper meat. I'm gonna taste the cheek. I'm gonna take the little one. I was asking our friend, our buddy earlier about ciguatera, which is really common in reef fish. But, I don't think it's a problem in the Gulf. No. no one ever gets it in the Gulf. I just know about it because I used to fish in the Bahamas a lot, and east coast of Florida where I'm from. I think some fish have it. Mm. These are really good, by the way. Yeah. Very tender. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Basic fish cooking is when you stick 
a fork or a sharp, like a toothpick or something, into the meat and it goes, it slides through. That's when you know it's done. If there's like a firm resistance when you like poke it or cut it or whatever, it's probably not done all the way. I mean, a lot of people use the term like fall apart if you flake it with a fork and it falls apart. But sometimes you don't want to pull apart all your meat before you serve it to people. So I think the toothpick uh, method is, is nice because then you can just poke a little hole in it and no one knows. You can have toothpicks right here. Let's see. Poke it. Oh yeah, that went in nice. That went in nice. Try this one. Try this one. A little bit not done in the middle. You can tell when it kind of slows. Yeah, it's stuck on it. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can see where it got hard. Yeah. So, a good method for cooking fish if you're not sure. Do the little toothpick or, or even like a fork, but a toothpick's nicer because it's just one hole. I brushed my hair. Do I look a little nicer for the video? No, not really. Just, that's one more broccoli. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Fresh, delicious, healthy. Look, oh look at this. We can't even sit at the table without Ooh, look at that. No, I'm really not that hungry right now. I'm really tired. Look at it. Oh, it's beautiful. Let me just cut into a little piece of this for you. Oof. Look, see how easily it just cuts. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at that. Let's get a little piece of it for you. It looks like almost like crab. Lobster meat, yeah. Or some, it's like kind of stringy. So if you don't know, actually, there's a big family of different types of groupers. There's gag grouper, black grouper, Nassau grouper, scamp grouper, Goliath grouper, all types of groupers. There's tons of groupers. I've only caught and eaten a few, but this is typical in a South Florida seafood restaurant. You'll find a lot of grouper on the menu at seafood restaurants in South Florida, throughout Florida, and all along the coast in many places. And it's delicious. It's definitely one of my top 10 favorite fish to eat. Yeah, if you're just cooking fish in a pan real quick, mm -hmm. it's the best. You think so? Yeah. Mm. My number one favorite is hogfish. Hogfish is by far the best fish meat I've ever eaten, like, cooked. I love raw fish. I prefer raw fish, but mm, this is great. Yeah, if you're gonna cook it, it's gonna be a hog fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What's your favorite? Scamp. This is Lewis's favorite. Babe, get in the camera. Roll. Oh yeah. I feel like it's a different texture than most groupers I've had. <laughs> it's good. It was kind of like that tile fish we had. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kind of like that. It's similar to the tile fish for sure. I'm not even that hungry right now. This is good. Oh, you can see kind of more. Whoops. How it's like kind of stringy looking. You can kind of see the texture. Mm hmm It's different. It's good. Mm. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. We're gonna end this video here because I gotta go to we gotta go to bed. Cause I have to wake up. We both we have to wake up early in the morning tomorrow to take catch my flight back home to Florida. This is the kind of stuff that Lewis and I do out here in Venice, Louisiana. We fish and catch our own food and eat it for dinner. That's what we do all the time. So check out some of my other videos. Subscribe, like, all that fun stuff too. And see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, fuck. You don't put my way to look dumb. <laughs> I'm gonna put it. No, you're not. Mm-hmm.